You know, despite this pandemic, is the United States actually on course to record fewer deaths this year than in years past? That's a story right now that's circulating on social media, but is that true? Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel breaks down the numbers in tonight's Verify report. We love questions having to do with numbers, and this one has a lot of them. Dave wrote to our Verify team because he saw this online. The graphic states the total predicted deaths for the U.S. in 2020 will be 2,838,000, which would actually be fewer deaths than what the U.S. has recorded the past few years. On the surface, when we research this, it appears to be accurate, but not so fast. I'm going to show you why deeper digging reveals it's really not. To verify the real story, we went directly to the source. The CDC's National Center for Health Statistics, which collects the nation's official death data. As of today, NCHS reported just under 2.5 million total deaths in the United States for 2020. There are still six months left in the year, so based on the current rate, we would expect that number to grow to more than 2.7 million deaths by the end of December. And that would be fewer deaths than what the CDC has reported in this country for the past few years. But there is a very important note included with this data. It cautions death counts are delayed because the government relies on official death certificate data that must be reviewed and coded by federal workers, and that takes a few weeks. So a better source of information to do our calculations is the CDC's raw weekly death data, and our Verify team was able to track that down. Take a look at this. As we scroll through data of weekly deaths, you can see when we get to the most recent few weeks, those numbers are considerably lower because they're not yet complete. In fact, last week's death numbers are not even entered yet. So if we use that data and take away the weeks that lack full reporting, it reflects more than 2.6 million deaths in the U.S. through the end of October. At that rate, if we calculate the nation's death rate through the end of December, we would expect more than 3 million deaths in 2020, a roughly 9% increase over recent years. In case you're wondering, using the CDC's raw weekly data, it shows the U.S. would record about 235,000 more deaths this year than last year. And the current total of COVID-19 deaths in the U.S., that's around 247,000. So reports that the U.S. is on course to record fewer deaths in 2020 than in previous years, well, based on the raw data, that is actually false. Have something you'd like us to verify? Drop us a line at verify at WTHR.com.